flows what type of sound is anath nad there are two types of sound created and uncreated suppose you are sitting by the side of a waterfall close your eyes and feel the sound all around what modern technology sound technology calls it surround sound feel the sound all around falling on you from every side creating a center in you from every side why this emphasis on feeling that you are in the center because in the center there is no sound the center is without sound that is why we can hear the sounds otherwise you could not hear them a sound cannot be heard a, a sound cannot hear another sound otherwise you could hear them a sound cannot be cannot hear another sound because you are soundless at the center you can hear sounds the center is absolute silence that is why you can hear sounds entering you coming to you penetrating you and circling you sounds are not heard in the ears the ears cannot hear them the ears do only a transmission work and in the transmission they can cut much which is useless for you that's why you only hear the sound which is transmitted by your ears anhat nad is not a type of sound it is soundlessness but this soundlessness is heard this sound if we have to call it sound at all it is uncreated it is the cause of the existence to express it is difficult because then the logical question arises of how soundlessness can be heard let me explain it i am sitting on this chair you are watching me if i go away from this chair you will see my absence in the chair it cannot be seen by anyone else who has not been sitting here or who has not seen me sitting he will simply see the chair but a moment before i was here and you have seen me sitting so if you move if i move away and you look at the chair you will see two things you will see the chair and my absence and you will see just now he was sitting i don't know where he is gone but that absence will be seen only if you have seen me and you have not forgotten me then you have not forgotten me that i was sitting there we are hearing sounds we only know sounds so when that soundless soundless comes or soundlessness comes anhat nad we feel that every sound has disappeared and absence is felt that is why it is called anhat nad it is also a nad nad means sound and anhat changes the quality of the sound anhat means uncreated so it is uncreated sound ahat means sound low sound created by the movement of the footsteps sometimes from a distance you are hearing the footsteps as if somebody is coming a sound that someone is coming every sound is a created sound whatsoever sound you have heard they are all created that which is created will disappear soon will die i can clap my hand 
a sound is created it is created by friction of the hand water falls on the stone water strikes the stone a sound is created it was not there before and now it is no more it was created and it had died a created sound is known as ahatnad and the uncreated sound which you feel is uncreated or anahat nat in sanatan sanskriti according to ex hindus this word is very important the sound that is always now science has proved that there is a constant sound that is permeating prevailing in the cosmos it is not really a sound you call it a sound because the absence of the sound is heard if you live by a railway station or near the airport and one day suppose there is a strike or for whatever reason no trains pass or no planes land or fly you will hear something no one can hear you will hear the absence of the trains and the sound of flights coming and going and moving we are accustomed to sounds every movement is filled with sound our heads are constantly filled by sounds when your mind goes away moves up or down goes beyond or below when you are not in the world of sounds you can hear the absence this absence is known as soundlessness but we call it anahat anahat nad because it is heard as we call it nad or sound because it is not really a sound we call it anahat or uncreated the word uncreated sound is contradictory sound is created but the uncreated contradicts so all the deep experiences of life have to be expressed in contradictory terms if you go and ask a zen master like eckhart or jacob wom or zen masters like hui hai or hoeng po or bodhi dharma or nagarjun or vedant and the upanishads everywhere you will find two contradictory terms whenever a deeper experience is talked about veda says he is and he is not it is said about god he is and he is not we cannot find a more atheistic expression he is and he is not he is far away and he is near he is far away and he is also near why such contradictory statements the upanishads say you cannot see him but unless you see him you have not seen anything what type of language is this lao tse says that truth cannot be said and he is saying it in tao te ching this too is a saying he said that he says that truth cannot be said if it is said it cannot be true and then he writes a book and says something about truth it is contradictory so this sound is the sound which is not created it is the in a way the absence of sound that you have heard once and now it surrounds you and a for now